Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, then I would love if you guys would subscribe down below. It would mean so much to me. I really need to water this plant. I'm seeing it in the background and realizing that I haven't watered it this week, so it looks a little sad. So today's video is going to be my April favorites. I literally cannot believe that April is almost over. It's crazy to me how fast the months fly by. Like, I, I don't even know where time goes. But today is going to be all about favorites that I found in the month of April that could be older products that I just recently, you know, started using again or newer products. So if you guys are interested in seeing what my beauty favorites were for the month of April, then let's just get on into it. Alright, so the first thing that I want to start off with is this. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I do own the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and I love that one. And I heard really good things about this one. I heard this one is really like moisturizing on your skin and I agree with that. I think it is amazing. It smells like lemony in my opinion and I love that scent. It's very like refreshing and it's just such an amazing primer, I feel like. I do have to use another primer to kind of like smooth out my pores and stuff because this doesn't do that. Um, this is more for like really giving the skin like a drink of water pretty much. And it's very moisturizing. When you put it on your skin, it is a very purpley consistent, not consistency, a very purpley color. But when you blend it out, your skin just looks so, so glowy, and I don't know, I just really, really enjoy this primer. I've been grabbing it every single day since I got it, and this has definitely been my go-to primer of the month. I do have one more primer that I have been using a lot this month that I wanted to shout out in this video because I use these together. I use this one kind of more like in the nose region and also like my chin and my forehead. I'm not someone that gets oily, but I do like to kind of perfect my skin in those areas because that's where my pores are. And so I do use this. This is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. It's oil-free and this stuff is amazing. It makes your skin very, very smooth and it just really smooths out the skin to get it ready for foundation. So I've been loving these two together. All right, what to talk about next? Okay, so sticking with foundation, I'm gonna talk about um, the new sponge that I've been loving to apply foundation. This is the L'Oreal sponge. I tried to wash it before this video so um, you guys could see the actual like color of it. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's very, very squishy and this is it wet because I just washed it. And I did use it to apply my foundation today. By the way, everything that I'm talking about here, I pretty much used in this video. So I did use these two today for my primer. And I did use this sponge to apply my foundation today. It's just super squishy, as you can see. It just really goes on the skin really nicely. And I like the shape of it because I apply my foundation with this side. And then I blend my foundation out with like the pointed side. So in my opinion, this is a very good dupe for the Beauty Blender. Um, and it is from the drugstore, so that's absolutely amazing. Usually the drugstore ones are very kind of like hard and they just don't apply foundation as well as the Beauty Blender. This one in my opinion is amazing and I've been using it ever since I got it. And I do think that this is a dupe for the Beauty Blender. So sticking with foundation, like the kind of category that we're talking about, um, I've been reaching for this one this month and I love this foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I'm in the color 204 Natural Buff. It just looks like this, and this foundation just makes your skin so glowy and dewy, especially if you have dry skin, you would love this. If you're oily, I'm not sure how you would like this um, because it is a pro glow foundation. It is beautiful. It lasts a very, very long time on the skin, and it just blends out amazing. It does not look like a drugstore foundation. I am wearing it on my skin today, and I did use it with the sponge and I just I think that this foundation is amazing the one thing that I will say about this is you really have to shake it before you use it because I don't know if because it's pro glow that they put something in here where if you are blending it on your skin sometimes you can see these little tiny like white like 
I don't know if it's like the the white consistency that gives you the glow, but sometimes you can see it on your skin. I mean, it blends out very easily, but if you don't shake this well enough, you will kind of get that separation. But it's not a big deal at all because this foundation is amazing. It lasts such a long time on my skin, and it just looks so fresh and glowy, and I love it. So this has been like my go-to foundation lately. So I haven't found a new concealer that I love because I love my shape tape. So, but I did find this new product to set underneath my eyes. This is the Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder. This is like $3, and I've been using this to set underneath my eyes. I've already kind of put a dent in it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but this is in the color, hmm, this is in the color Fair, and it is light enough to set underneath my eyes. The consistency of this powder is just so smooth, and it just really, really sets my under eyes nicely. I haven't really been baking underneath my eyes because I've just been liking the more, I don't want to say natural because this is n by no means like a natural look. But I've been liking to kind of keep the foundation less heavy. So I've been just taking this powder and just buffing my brush into it and then just putting it on my skin and it just really brightens up under my eyes and also sets. And this powder is so inexpensive and it's amazing. The texture of it is just so thin. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. It is amazing. You guys should definitely check this out to set your under eyes or even to set the rest of your face. It's an amazing powder. Alright, so the next thing that I wanted to talk about is an oldie, but such a goodie. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I've been using this like crazy lately, and I don't know, I just started grabbing for it. It just looks like this. I have a tutorial on this look that I will leave in a card up here for you guys to watch. Um, it is just a really simple but gorgeous eye look that I use in this palette all the time. I've been loving this palette so much. I use it on my eyes today. I did something very simple on my eyes. I just used this color in the crease and I have flower child on the lid and then I have funny girl which is this kind of like shimmery color just in like the inner corner and also on my brow bone I just love this palette it has literally every color that you would really want in a palette um, I just love it and I've been loving using firecracker which is this gorgeous kind of um, See how pretty that is? It's like a coppery color. I've been using that all over my eyelid and it's just beautiful. I love this palette so much. It is like one of my cult favorite palettes. It's so good. If you guys do not own this palette, I really recommend trying it out. It's just one of those palettes that I will always love. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about is probably my most standout favorite of the month. And it is a mascara. It is what I'm wearing on my lashes today. I haven't been wearing false lashes because my eyelashes have been kind of getting like, I don't want to say, I don't really know how to explain it, but my eyelashes have been looking like not as long, not as nice from wearing false lashes. So I've been giving my lashes a break and just applying regular mascara and not using any false lashes and I have become obsessed with this mascara. This is just like the little travel size. This is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I am 100% going to buy the full size because I've been using so much of this that it is done. Like it is so almost dried out. I did use it today on my lashes and it is an amazing mascara. Like, this has just become my new favorite mascara so quick, and I've been using it every single day, and I love it so much. This is definitely, like, the standout product of the month, in my opinion. The wand is nothing too, too crazy, um, but I don't know if it's the formula or if it's the wand, but I love both, and I am for sure going to buy the full size of this. Sticking with eyes, I just want to talk about this really quick. This is the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner. I love this guy so much, and it's from the drugstore. Right now, it needs to be sharpened because there is no way of me even, like, showing you. I mean, I guess I could show you a decent swatch, but... It is super, super black, and it stays on the waterline very, very nicely because it is waterproof. And they do have other colors in this that I do own as well and I love. But I just wanted to mention this really quickly because this has become, like, one of my favorite eyeliners for the waterline. It is super black, 
glides on super easily and I just I love this liner okay so the next thing that I want to talk about is this this is the Smashbox Spotlight palette with Casey Holmes this is the one in pearl I have been loving this highlight I've used it on my cheeks today it is such a beautiful highlight mine's a little bit messy because I did use it like crazy this month um, I pretty much just stick my brush in all three of these and put it on my cheekbones and then for like a little touch of extra glow I go in with this first shade right here which is just a super super intense kind of like gold color and I put that right on top and it just really intensifies the look the thing that I will say about this palette is it is so amazing for if you have texture on your skin it does not show any texture whatsoever so if you are breaking out kind of like on your cheekbones this is not going to accentuate that like some highlights can it is just so smooth of a formula and it just gives you the most beautiful glow those are all three of them swatched right there it's just such a beautiful highlight Casey did such a great job with Smashbox creating this highlight. I just, I love this palette. It is so beautiful and I love Casey so much. So congratulations Casey, this palette is amazing. I just wanted to talk about the um, brush that I use to apply highlight. I get questions all the time in my videos what highlight brush I'm using and this has not been a favorite of just April. This has been a favorite for like the whole year and last year. I use this all the time for my highlight. I don't use anything else. This is the brush I use for my highlight and I don't see me changing it anytime soon. This is the Morphe M501. This brush literally just fits so perfectly right here. It fits good on, you know, any, any smaller areas that you want to highlight your nose with, whatever. It's just the perfect little dome shape. It applies the highlight so, so amazing. I just, I love love this highlight brush and with these two together it is literally amazing alright so the next thing I want to talk about is just one more highlight um, this is by NYX this is the duo chromatic highlight so I got this kind of in like the middle ish of April so I haven't been able to use it all month but I do want to mention it because this highlight is so amazing this was $7.99 and this highlight is absolutely stunning that is it right there it is the most beautiful duochromatic highlight I've ever tried it gives you such a different look in different lightings here it kind of looks pinky and then when you you know turn it around it just creates such a pretty color I love this highlight so much it is one of those highlights that is definitely going to give you like you know, it's not going to look natural on your skin by any means, but it just gives you this different kind of glow. It looks pink in some lights. It looks kind of almost like purpley in some lights. Then some lights it looks super, super icy. I don't know. I just love this highlight. I think it's one of those highlights where you can kind of put on top of another highlight to just give it a little bit of a kick. I just love this highlight so much. Check it out. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about is a bronzer. This is by Too Faced. This is the Beach Bunny Custom Blend Bronzer. It just looks like this. It is such a beautiful bronzer. It has a glow to it so it's not matte by any means. It is what I'm wearing on my face today. My highlight is like so, so dramatic right now. Like it's a little too crazy. This is what I'm using on my face today. It is such a beautiful blend of colors. Um, it doesn't, I can't really show you guys it in swatches because it doesn't do justice, but it gives your skin such like a bronzy glow because of the shimmer that it has in there and it's not shimmer in a bad way. You can barely even see the shimmer when you apply it on your face. It just looks really glowy. You look like you've been at the beach. It's just a beautiful bronzer and I've been loving using more of like glowy bronzers rather than matte bronzer. So I've been loving this bronzer all month just to really warm up the skin and it doesn't give you like a flat look because of the kind of like tiny tiny iridescence in it. It's just beautiful. I love this bronzer. I just wanted to talk about this brush that I've been applying bronzer with. This is the Morphe R2 brush. I bought this because of Jaclyn Hill on YouTube. I'm sure you guys know who she is. Um, she's literally amazing. I love her. And she was raving about this brush, so I had to pick it up, obviously, because whenever she raves about anything, I purchase it immediately. So this is the R2 
brush by Morphe. It is such a good bronzer brush. It just fits on your skin so nicely. I like it because it has that kind of like oval shape to it and I feel like when brushes are like this they really apply bronzer nicely because you kind of get the bronzer where you want it and then it kind of fans out on the sides so that you can really just blend it out. It's just an amazing bronzer brush and I just had to talk about it in this video because I've been using it like crazy. So my next favorite is just a blush that I wanted to talk about. This is by the brand LA Girls and or LA girl I don't know it's called just blushing and the packaging looks like this it's beautiful this is in the color just natural I have it on my cheeks today it is just a beautiful formula a beautiful color it's just so smooth like if you were to touch this powder it does not feel like a drugstore powder whatsoever this is it right here I am wearing it on my cheeks like I said it's super smooth these blushes blend out amazing. You would think these were not drugstore. They are so good. The packaging is super cute. It's a little bulky, but I kind of like it. And I just, I love this blush so much. I've been reaching for it all the time. It just is the perfect color. It goes with so many looks and it's just become one of my favorites. We are almost done. I want to talk about this really quick. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Butterscotch. This I actually got when I placed a huge Ulta order. They sent me this for free. This is in the color Butterscotch. I have it on my lips today with a lip liner. It is such a nice lip gloss. I've been reaching for this like crazy. I throw this in my makeup bag and I just apply it throughout the day. It actually lasts for a pretty good amount of time. I applied this probably an hour ago and it, it is still on my lips. And it is very, very pigmented for a lip gloss. So that is it right there. It is like a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm going to apply more. Why not? In the scent of this, it is so good. It's like kind of like cupcakes, vanilla, I don't know, but it is amazing. And I definitely want to purchase a full size of their lip glosses because I had never tried these before, this little mini. And I am obsessed with this lip gloss. I love the color of it because it's nude. And it has like a kind of like peachy undertone to it so it goes with so many different looks I love this and then the last thing that I wanted to talk about is just a perfume and I can't really say this is an April favorite because this is very very new to me it's probably only a week old but I did want to mention it because I am obsessed with this perfume I got it from American Eagle and it's called surf I was checking out first of all this bottle is beautiful I was checking out and they had these like right at the front desk when you're checking out so Obviously, I had to smell it, and I literally died when I sent, when I smelled this. It smells like coconuts. It smells like beach. It smells, oh my god, it smells so amazing. This reminds me of the perfume Light Blue. It has that same kind of like light, fresh, like lemon, coconutty smell. I don't know how to explain it. It smells so amazing, and I know kind of talking about perfumes is useless because you guys will not be able to smell this through the camera. This was, I believe, $40, so I think that this will last a pretty good amount of time, and it just has a really nice scent to it. I get very sensitive with smells, and this is one of those perfumes that is so light that it doesn't, it's not very strong, like it doesn't give me like a headache or anything like that, but it definitely lingers throughout the day and you can smell it as the day goes on so I highly recommend trying this perfume if you guys like kind of like light vanilla coconutty smells you would love this all right guys so that wraps up this video I hope you guys enjoyed let me know if some of these products were your favorite for this month and let me know what your favorites were so I could check out some products and maybe they will be my favorites in May Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video bye